To the people who make fun of safe places and trigger warnings. A safe place to you is a place where I can go to calm down from the big bad world that says cruel things. A safe place to me is inside my safe blanket, inside a safe corner, so that I can try and be safe from my own cyanide thoughts that plague my mind every single night. Like, is there something I could have done? Why didn't I run? Why can't I just let it go? An unsafe place to me is where there are no trigger warnings. And yes, I just said that because nightlight, like the one from that night in the light, is burned into my retinas, trigger too close, like the breath down my neck, trigger dark room, like the one I slept in and thought I was safe, trigger. Watching me like you watch an episode of CSI, trigger, paper mache, paper cut, preacher people, stares, trigger, holiday season, seeing family holding hands on their holiday visits, trigger, why don't you see them anymore, trigger, rape joke, trigger, why did you freak out like that, trigger, why can't you talk about her without crying, trigger, little girl lost, angry, broken, trigger, little girl not being protected from the one I know is a monster, trigger, trigger like the one I debated pulling on those dark nights. The problem isn't that I'm weak. It's the same people that say I'm weak, that say I need a safe place. They are the ones who make this place unsafe. They are the ones who send me prayers out of spite. They ridicule any sexuality besides their own, and they tell us to suck it up like the spit I sucked up and swallowed as I walked into my forensic interview. Well, guess what? I'm here. I'm surviving, and inside of me is internal is an internal war of letting my demons win or continuing to fight through splintered bone and suffering of does she believe me or not of am I the problem or is it what happened of am I a little too broken to be fixed or can wounds be mended with solder and stitches